this particular challenge, we're using the side-to-side -side routine, which I've already made a video for. So if you haven't seen that video, please go back and watch it. Challenges are my idea of getting you to do something to see how you do. Now, for this particular challenge, there are three set levels. The first level is for regular clock players. And I want you to do 25 of those with no mistakes. Now, that might sound easy, and maybe it is for you, but that's good, because if it's easy, you can move on to the next level. I've seen some actually pretty good players, well, club players anyway, who can't do this, and they give up very quickly. So this challenge is for you. If you can't do many of these, give yourself five separate practice routines to complete 25 with no mistakes. Now, the next one will be 50. Now, it's double. Doesn't sound too hard, but if you're having trouble controlling the ball and it goes a little bit too far away from you, you might not reach it. If you're having trouble with getting the consistent height, you might not be able to manage that either. So this is about 50 non-stop shots. Now remember, you should be watching the ball hit the string. Every time you hit it, watch it hit the string. You cannot do this. It's not possible. Well, possible, but you Now the third one is a little bit different. Because the third one is a hundred, but it's not so much about the hitting ability. If you can hit a hundred of these with no mistakes, then you can hit a thousand. What happens is, at this level, more or less, the exercise changes from one of physical, technical ability to concentration. Okay? So you need to hit one hundred. And I'm sure that after you've done 50, you think, oh, this is, a, this is easy, this is a doddle, as we said in England. But then when you get to about 85, you get a little bit nervous, because what I forgot to tell you is that it's 25 or 50 or 100 consecutive with no mistakes. If you make a mistake, back to zero. And that makes you a little bit nervous. And I've got to, like, 350, 375, and maybe my target's 400, and I get a little bit nervous, oh, and I get one long, oh, the same as happens in a real game. So after you've done the 25 and the 50, and you've got to your 100 shots, it's then about concentration. Can you concentrate for 100 shots without thinking about what you're having for dinner, or your favorite football team, or whatever else goes on in your mind? Don't think about that. You're here to hit a ball. Nothing else. Hit a ball. Do it. 100. Now another thing that it does is that it really helps you build your strength. Okay, now the 25 and the 50, you're not really doing it for long enough to build any strength. It's more about getting the right technique. But after 100, it becomes a strength exercise. And I normally do a lot of these in the off season. And I, well, I did a training exercise last Monday, and I did approximately six or seven hundred um, at different times in that case. The most I did in that training session was a hundred, but I've done a thousand before, okay? And that's very mentally tiring, uh, physically tiring as well, but very mentally tiring. And you need a special kind of mentality for that, and I'm not suggesting that just because you do a hundred, you jump to a thousand. Stick with a hundred for a while, get your mental, you know, acuity just there, and you'll be fine. Now, if you have no success at these, at these, just try hitting the ball a little bit harder. Maybe you thought I was really hitting it, but I wasn't. I was using about 70% my maximum, and that's what you should be doing. One last thing for this challenge. Make sure the ball is warm, and make sure you are warm before doing it. This is not a warm-up exercise. It can be, but it shouldn't be. The ball is warm, you're warm when you say, okay, you stop, you hold the ball, you compose yourself, you say to yourself, 25 or 50 or 100 or 1,000, you clear your mind, focus on the ball, and you begin. Ideally, you should do it facing the front wall, because today I'm on a glass court, and luckily there's nobody around, but that can be a little bit distracting. So do it facing the front wall, as you normally are anyway, do it until you've done the required amount. Adjust the totals for whatever you feel necessary, but don't bring them down just because you're struggling. Keep working at it. Please, please, please email me your feedback on this. Perhaps my totals are too easy. Perhaps they're too hard. Let me know, and I can make another video to um, adjust them. So thanks for watching, and remember, play every point as if it were your last.
See ya.